Hi everyone, Dr. Lee Plowman, optometrist. I'm excited today for dry eye news. So today we're talking about Optimel Manuka honey drops and how they can help dry eyes. And we're also talking about the role of the gut in reducing inflammation in the eyes. So let's jump into it. So I wanted to talk to you about a study today based on these two drops. So these are Optimel Manuka Honey Drops and the Manuka Honey Gel. Yeah, you might have heard of Manuka Honey. It's got some really good properties. It's antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, and it does. And so researchers were interested to see what was the effect on people with moderate to severe meibomian gland dysfunction. So let's have a look at the study. So in this study, the authors compared people after eight weeks of use of Manuka honey drops. So some people took just the drops themselves, some people took the gel, and after eight weeks they compared the, compared the symptoms that people had to people who'd just done lid scrubs, warm compresses, and preservative-free artificial tears. And after the eight week period, they reassessed eat all of the participants and they found that they had significant improvements in nearly all of the metrics that they, that they were testing for. So their symptoms improved, which is really important. Their stability of their tears, their tear breakup time, the saltiness of the tears improved. Their mybum quality also improved and overall redness and lid margin redness improved. There was a subtle difference, and this is interesting, that the drops had a slightly better effect on the oil glands, improving in the oil glands compared to the stronger gel form. But all of the other metrics showed an improvement in the, uh, in the, uh, after using the Manuka honey drops. So it is important to know that Manuka honey drops do sting. Uh, it does last for a few minutes. You will experience some stinging wateriness and redness, but it, after a few minutes, it, it settles down. So if you're able to, um, if you don't mind a bit of sting, then these drops could be a, a great thing for you to try. And I'll leave a link to these in the video description underneath this video. And the second study that I wanted to talk to you about today was this study about butyrate. So butyrate is a, a small chain fatty acid. So it's a, it's a molecule that's produced by gut. And it actually, uh, it travels through the bloodstream and it, it has a role in several different mucosal surfaces. So the eyes one, the mouth, the nose, other different moist surfaces in the body. And so the bacteria produce these, these uh, small chain fatty acids, particularly with dietary fiber. So having, uh, having increasing dietary fiber could produce more of these more of this butyrate and so this is a study about it's an animal study and they were able to show that butyrate helps to decrease inflammation in the eyes they uh, the receptors that butyrate connects with or joins with the recept researchers switch these off and they found that it it doesn't have it the same effect as if these receptors are switched on. So it seems like there's a second part that enables these butyrate molecules to work. But I'm excited about this particular uh, connection between the gut and the eyes. Um, just recently, one of my patients said to me, I'm sure that when my gut is playing up, that my eyes feel worse. Uh, and this is a, a connection that not many people would have made. 
but I think she's right onto it that improving the gut through uh, through a good diet is going to really help to improve the eyes and you might also get some secondary benefits like um, better mental health uh, more alertness maybe less um, bloating or fatigue or tiredness and so that's why some, for some of my patients I particularly love working with an integrative doctor or a functional medicine doctor and these are people who spend the time with you to go through they take a holistic approach and they go through all of your medical history and they also do some extra tests extra blood tests to work out these are the things that you're you're doing well with and these are the things that you might be deficient in or your body's just not processing these well enough or not absorbing them well enough so being able to have a, an approach, a holistic approach to health it really does make an improvement um, one of my patients found that she went off gluten and it made a huge improvement for her eyes and she was able to do other really good changes to improve her diet working with a functional medicine doctor or integrative doctor so if you can have a have an appointment have a consultation and see what an integrative doctor can do for you and improving your general health and it might even improve your eyes as well so today we've talked about optimal manuka honey drops and gel and also the role of the gut flora in reducing inflammation in the eyes if you've got a question about dry eyes feel free to reply to this email i'd love to help help you answer some questions and if you wanted to find the optimal products or any other dryer products uh, tap the link underneath this video thanks so much for watching today and i look forward to connecting with you in the next video thanks